Well, we're looking at a cold and frosty night across Acadiana with temperatures eventually falling back into the lower and mid 30s. Nice looking into the week tomorrow with mainly sunny skies in place and then scattered showers and storms return to the forecast late Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. More on all of that here in just a little bit, but first starting out with the satellite and radar composite high pressure in control today. We saw early morning clouds give way to plenty of sunshine through the course of the afternoon, setting the stage for a beautiful day out there across the Cadiana. Now this high will start to move off to our east tomorrow, so we're still going to be looking at mainly sunny skies, but with a southerly flow getting reestablished across the area, we'll see high temperatures climbing into the upper 50s to lower 60s for your Friday afternoon. It's cold out there tonight. Temperatures uh, sitting mainly in the mid to upper 30s across the Cadiana. We're at 37 here in Lafayette. Dew point sitting in the 30s. Winds out of the south southwest at around 3 miles per hour and clear skies in place. And with clear skies continuing through the rest of the night. Temperatures able to fall into the lower and mid 30s by tomorrow morning. We'll go lower 30s primarily for northern parishes of Acadiana. So cold, yes, but not quite pipe busting cold or anything like that. Frost across the rest of Acadiana with mid 30s along and south of the interstate. So you're certainly going to protect, protect that tender vegetation, pets, and of course people. And after that cold start tomorrow morning, we'll see temperatures climbing in the upper 50s to lower 60s for Friday afternoon with mainly sunny skies in place. Not quite as cold as we head into Saturday morning, but still chilly. We'll see lows in the mid to upper 40s across Acadiana and then mostly cloudy skies for your Saturday afternoon with temperatures mainly settling in to the mid 60s. So time it out with the graph model. Again, things looking pretty good throughout your Friday afternoon. Mainly sunny skies in place. Highs again settling into the lower 60s. Clouds will start to build Friday night into Saturday morning. Few ice Isolated showers possible throughout the day on Saturday, but then scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. A pretty good bet as we head late in Saturday afternoon into Sunday evening as another low pressure system is going to be approaching from the west. Not necessarily dealing with any severe weather, but of course we're going to be keeping an eye on it. Bulk of that activity looks to push out of here by Sunday morning, but then lingering cloud cover as we head through Sunday afternoon with high temperatures mainly staying in the 50s all day long for your Sunday. Sunday. Now, as far as rainfall totals, here's what it looks like with the GFS model. Most of us looking to pick up about a half to a three quarters of an inch of rainfall with that system moving through on Saturday. Some locally higher amounts will be possible, but not necessarily dealing with a flash flooding event or anything like that. But of course, we'll continue to monitor the trends over the next couple of days. and We'll have a better idea on rain totals by tomorrow. So clear and cold across Acadiana tonight. Those lows dropping back into the lower and mid 30s. Frost likely by tomorrow morning. As we head throughout your Friday afternoon, mainly sunny skies out there, comfortable temperatures in place. They'll be settling into the lower 60s tomorrow afternoon. Easterly winds to start, that they'll transition to more out of the southeast by tomorrow afternoon at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as we roll through the next 10 days, Mostly cloudy skies for your Saturday. Rain chances will sit at 70%. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a complete washout or anything like that. Again, best chance to see those scattered showers and storms late on Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. Lingering cloud cover into your Sunday. A little bit cooler as well with highs mainly staying in the 50s all day long. Plenty of sunshine for next Monday and Tuesday. Our next front will look to arrive by late next Wednesday into early Christmas Eve. Some lingering cloud cover throughout Christmas Eve afternoon. And as of now, Jim, Christmas looking OK and quite cold. We could see a start in the 30s with those afternoon highs topping out in the upper 50s to right around the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees.